Okay, so geofencing and creating a boundary in Google Earth. I got this figured out pretty good. So we start a new field called AA. And then, normally you would just drive around and create a boundary. Click outer, pick the side, and then go and then record it. Or we can run Google Earth. And then the fix that we are at, it comes up as a placement in Google Earth here. So there's our current position. So if we pick and draw a funky little circle around it, any shape you want. And then we save this. Save place as under AAA. It's got to be KML, not KMZ, and that's a zip file, is a KMZ. Save it. And you get out of there. Discard. Now we can load that KML file. And voila, there it is. It shows up exactly where it should be. So now we turn it on. You can see that as we cross that line, it won't let us apply outside, but you can still apply manually and that sort of thing. But uh, in terms of a headland, you can create a headland with inside of it. So if we create, there's a headland all the way around it. If we create an AB line now, and then follow along the AB line. We can do our U-turn and whatever at the same time. So this doesn't necessarily have to be used as a boundary. It can be used as geofencing. You can, um, there's a few things I want to add, which is the geofencing aspect and have the boundary and have the ability to be able to follow um, follow a path directly, like if you recorded a path. And that pretty much covers off a lot of the geo-referencing stuff for autonomous. If you have a, a fence around the outside that you can't pass, you have a boundary that you, where you can determine the headland, you have a headland that you can do all your turns in, and if you escape the boundary or if you escape the, the geofence, then of course you shut her down. Um, plus a kill switch. So anyway, I don't know if this is going to be useful or not, but uh, it's possible.